Oh, you little chickens, loving that bread that's all wet. And the little ones taught you that trick, because that's what they love. But it turns out all of you like your bread wet. I think I'll go inside the house and get some of my glass marbles that I have because the sun is shining really pretty today and I might catch some orbs out here with the chickens. I went ahead and gave them all the bread and it's all over the all over the chicken yard. The little sparrows will come down and the, and the crows, I love those crows, they'll come down too and finish up this bread. Well, chickens, what are you doing chasing hazelnut? She's a nut, but don't chase her. One of my smallest chickens, and I'll show you which one. It's one of the little silkies, this one. Boy, if hazelnut gets near her, she pecks at hazelnut and scares her to death. The hazelnut is, is a bigger chicken than her. That's her, hazelnut. Hey, hazelnut! And guess who's up here on the straw? Mr. Rooster. He can maybe peck me. He, sometimes I've been out here and he, he jumped up on my shoulder or my back. Hey, he doesn't want me to touch him. If I act like I'm going to, he acts like he's going to peck me. You gonna peck me? Let me? Go back a little so you can see him. Are you gonna peck me? Huh? Oh, you're thinking about it. <laughs> I don't really want you to peck me. Cause he's got these big old spurs. See those spurs on the back of his legs? One time he was out in the yard and our dog was out in the yard and the dog got him down. We didn't notice it until after he was down and we looked over there and the, this chicken, this rooster, was playing dead. We even picked him up and he still acted dead. Then we got him back in the chicken yard and he was quite fine. He just was scared of the dog and he knew that to play dead is the best thing to do. Chickens have a, a understanding of danger. When a big hawk flies by, they all run in the barn. The smart ones do. <laughs> but so far we haven't had any hawks get any of our chickens. I think it's because our chicken yard is too small and if they go down to get something they want to have a lot of room to swoop down and swoop back up. Hey hazelnut. Golden feet. Now you can't approach a hazelnut. Not unless you sneak up on her. She's not going to let you do your thing. Although, sometimes out in the yard, this little rooster has gotten on top of some of the, even the big red hens. I always thought it, think it's so cruel looking for them to bite their neck of the one they're on. But I think they need to bite the neck just to hold on and do their deed. Because <laughs> they're balanced on the back of another chicken. Sometimes I wonder why in the Bible sex is such a thing that it's always condemned. And they don't do anything about condemning torture and murder or having slaves or beating your slaves to death. They have very little to say about that. But if it's sexual, and all the uh, stories of the gods that came down and mated with humans, and they think the offspring of that created monster hybrid beings, maybe it did, I don't know, but I think we should try to love the enemy, no matter what, because Jesus said, love your enemy. I don't think it meant love just some of your enemies, because your enemies, 
or principalities and powers in high places. They're not necessarily physical beings, but they will not change, and they cannot change if all we can do is hate them. It's really hard. I know some people say, well, yes, but you don't know what this person did to me. It's difficult to even think about forgiving them. But what I would say is it's even more difficult to live with the hate. It's for your own sake that you forgive. Are you saying something, Rooster? You were agreeing with me, weren't you? I've had to forgive you a time or two when you were jumping on me. Now you're a pretty good rooster. You just sure are rearranging the straw everywhere I look. It's like you're playing with it. There's my other little rooster. Golden feet. Hello, Golden feet. Why don't you crow? Are you afraid to crow around this big old rooster that's next to you? You think he'll, he'll get jealous of you crowing? Well, there you go. Changing the straw around. I'll put it back up. They'll rearrange it. Now a hen's up there. Ah, a blackbird. That's a brave blackbird to come in here when I'm in here. Ah, I love these little blackbirds. But I can't feed them all because there's thousands, thousands of them. In the summer, we would put a little above-ground pool up, and the birds would mess. If we fed them at the bird feeders, they would come over in our area where we were, had our pool up and chairs, and then mess all over the chairs. So I had to quit feeding them in a certain place. Well, this is turning bad because I had it on too too focused up close. Oh, y'all still got a little bread in there. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Rooster's coming to protect this little chicken I picked up. Like I say, Phyllis doesn't let me pick her up much anymore. Am I getting you? I can't see for the sun. I think I am. Oh, the rooster wants to protect you. There you go. See, rooster, she's all right. Phyllis after Phyllis Diller. Aren't you afraid I'm going to pick you up again? No? If I had a grape in my hand, she would let me pick her up just to get it. I wish I could afford enough grapes to let them eat to their full. They never get enough grapes. I think according to how they look at it, they could always go for a grape. Well, this is enough of showing you chickens, and I just will go in and get some glass, see if I can get some outdoor orbs pictures today. If I do, I'll post them in a Google profile. This is the Dove Lady, over and out for now.